situation. Mm -hmm. What would be your Webster's Kate definition of a green flag? A green flag is, oh, this is really good. This is all signs are pointing, not all signs, but this is a <laughs> sign that's pointing to potential yes. I still need to find out more. Here's the thing, ladies and gents. If you see one or two or three green flags, it's not an immediate, yes, yes, yes. Let me marry you. Marry me tomorrow. <laughs> Let me be your prince or princess, right? This is, okay, great. This is this is positive. I feel good about this. Let me keep finding out more information. The green flags are not a reason to start wearing those rose color glasses because then you miss the red flags. And keep in mind, everyone's going to put their green flags out the gate, right? Everyone's going to put their first their best foot forward, it might take a little bit of time to see some of those red flags. So what you're saying is just because you see green flags doesn't mean red flags don't exist. That's why we always talk about pace. Date them for 90 days before you commit to them and just continue to pace it out as you balance green. Like if you see zero red flags after dating them for 90 days, that, that in itself is a red flag <laughs> on you because no person is perfect. And somebody is bound to have some kind of red flag of like, hmm, that's not great. Um, maybe it's not a deal breaker kind of red flag, but it's a red flag that you at least notice. Okay, they're not perfect in this area because hello, nobody is. So it's a red flag for you if you can't find a single one about a person. So ideally at the end of 90 days, we should be able to tell you five green flags off the bat. Oh, definitely. And tell you three or four red flags off the bat or like at one or two it, it doesn't have to be an extensive amount of red flags you just want to hopefully be able to not have rose color glasses and see that this person isn't perfect okay so they don't cancel each other out it's not a math equation that's not a math equation